second wire finish. And they're off. Made my wish. Hopped in the air at the start. Is at the back of the pack. HOV Lane and Tipsy Tourist. Ghostly Knight of the Outside running in third position. Coming to join them now in between horses. Gift of Gab is in the lead group as well. Uh, getting away is Tipsy Tourist. A Gift of Gab, HOV Lane third. Ghostly Knight of the Outside in fourth. Made my wishes. Worked up to fifth position. Amaretto Sour. Lot of class. Little Sass. And Sanctified Time racing in the back of the pack. Well back now. Some 18 off that pace. And it is Tipsy Tourist up top. It Tipsy Tourist the one to catch. Leads it by two lengths. Ghostly Knight of the Outside. Gift of Gab near the inside as they turn in. And they're followed by HOV Lane. Into the stretch. Quarter of a mile left to go. Three across the track. Ghostly Knight on the outside has the momentum. Rail run. Gift of Gab. Gift of Gab down to the rail. Ghostly Knight down to the outside there. And Tipsy Tours back in third position. Has made my wishes. Moved along to fourth. A 16th to run now. It's Ghostly Knight in front from Gift of Gab. Made my wish on the outside. Closing Ghostly Knight. Ghostly Knight holding Ghostly Knight. Ghostly Knight from Made My Wish at the second wire finish photo. In the gate. And they're off. Free Dancer and Jimmy the Kid are stroll smoking on the inside in third. And yes, sir, Robert in advance of Tommy Shelby trailing the field. It's Free Dancer just in front. Stroll smoking moves through on the inside to challenge. Now put that gray neck in front. On the outside is Yes, Sir, Robert. At the inside there is Jimmy the Kid. Only a couple of lengths off the lead at pair. Another seven or eight back at Tommy Shelby in the back of the pack. Free Dancer from Stroll Smoking. Free Dancers come back to get the neck in front as they round that far turn. Yes, Sir, Robert on the outside. Right there, too, is Jimmy the Kid in between horses. Jimmy the Kid is revving up as Stroll smoking. The big favorite is under pressure at the quarter pole now. At top of the stretch, they turn for home, and it's Free Dancer with Jimmy the Kid to the attack on the far outside is Yes, Sir Robert there, too. Yes, Sir Robert on the extreme outside. Free Dancer just holding on in between horses. Jimmy the Kid, Stroll smoking's drop back to fourth. Hit of the stretch of Furlong left to go. Jimmy the Kid trying to get by a stubborn Free Dancer. Jimmy the Kid, Free Dancer battles him every step of the way. Jimmy the Kid. Jimmy the Kid's 10 to 1. Jimmy the Kid, Free Dancer. And Tommy Shelby. Yes, Sir Robert. Minute 4.20.
in the gate. And they're off. Devious wasting no time, flashing out for the inside to the lead. From Music Queen into second spot, the outside is Pray for the USA into third position. Excuse Me Miss Margot is next, and Little Miss Minion is followed by Tanka Tough, who's next in line, and in her cups racing back of the pack with Busy Busy trailing the field. Into the far turn, eight lengths will cover them. Devious in front from Pray for the USA. Devious a length lead from Pray for the USA. Music Queen riding the inside in third. Tanka Tough at the far outside there is in her cups is coming widest of them all shifting to the far outside as they turn in a quarter of a mile to go to second finish line long way home into the stretch and it's devious out of the inside the outside is tank a tough sweeping up pray for the usa followed by music queen just about a furlong left to go and then it's in her cups wide open affair three four now across the track tank a tough just in front tank a tough music queen coming on the outside tank a tough and music queen busy busy from dead last revving up on the far Outside, Music Queen, Music Queen, Busy Busy Closing, Music Queen, Photo Second, Busy Busy, or Tank a Tough. When we started adding protocols, we, the first thing we knew we wanted to do was to add veterinarians watch and train. We really had to look at all of the opportunities that we had to impact horse safety. Controlling medication and training, which had never been done. Investing in cutting edge diagnostic techniques. Decreasing the amount of medication that was in the horse on race day. Right now it's training, but we're checking horses that are racing on Saturday. Thank you. Good. I feel like we are changing things for the better. Right now it's basically just being present when we do examine various horses in the days leading up to it. Race day, it's every horse. We're watching uh, the horses, how they warm up. The, now they've got weight on their back. We're on different surface. We're still following the horses. All the horses look good during their warm up, sound ready to run. I truly feel like we are moving the sport forward. The horses are better for it. We've really changed to focus on putting horses at the center and being the most important part of the equation. Wait if a meat sweats to settle, straighten. And they're off.
Sharp side for Don't Tell Darren, Meet Sweats, and Miss Fussy Pants. And now quickly joined by Cammie Rochelle is splitting horses to show speed to Cammie Rochelle chasing now as Don't Tell Darren's the leader from Cammie Rochelle by a half length, length and a half. Miss Fussy Pants, Meet Sweats is next. Grass cutter over to the inside, second last position, and now Mahunas trailing the field about nine from the pace. Don't Tell Darren flashing around the far turn with about a two length advantage from Cammie Rochelle, second, another two. Miss Fussy Pants just in third, Meet Sweats is on the outside in fourth. It's five more lengths and Namahuna's trying to pick it up under a ride to the back of the pack and trailing his grass cutter. They race for home now and it's Don't Tell Darren just a half length in front. Cami Rochelle on the outside meaning business. Cami Rochelle on the outside. Don't Tell Darren tries to dig under a ride on the inside and Don't Tell Darren under a vigorous ride. Three sixteenths to go. Puts a couple of lengths now on Cami Rochelle. Turning back Cami Rochelle is Don't Tell Darren. Don't Tell Darren in the final furlong. Widening now. Now putting up five now six lengths. Miss Fussy Pants moves third and try to run into the exacta and Namahunas with a bit of a late kick in between horses. Don't tell Darren wins. From Miss Fussy Pants by about six or so, Miss Fussy Pants and Namahunas and then it was Camille Rochelle. We're absolutely blessed to have the ability to work with animals for our day-to-day -day job, but the blessing means that we also have a big responsibility, and that responsibility is that when a horse has finished its racing career, to make sure that we give it every opportunity to have a second career. Horses on the racetrack, they typically race from two to three years old up to six to eight years old, and they have a long career in life after that. Thoroughbred aftercare is taking care of horses after their life on the racetrack making sure that we are being good stewards of the animal. We have a generation coming up that's more aware of our world, of our climate, of our animals that we use, everything that's really given us humanity and integrity about who we are and what we're doing on this planet. There are the actual aftercares themselves and they are farms that will rehome and rehouse the animals when they come off the track. And then there are other organizations such as the TAA, which is the Thoroughbred Aftercare Alliance, that actually accredit the aftercares to make sure they are doing exactly what we want them to do. We focus on organizations that can rehabilitate, retrain, retire, rehome new horses and find a new purpose for them for after their racing and breeding. Any animal that's willing to let you ride it or use it for work, we owe that animal everything we can do to make sure that trust is repaid. One pack, divine proportion. And they're off. Good beginning for Pit Stop Man, showing that speed from the inside. Pit Stop Man opens up two and drive by layover. Here's Anti Poison away running in third position, and Five Star Phil and Divine Proportion side by side. Hair of the Dog shuffle back to last position, some eight off the pace, and the lone speed of Pit Stop Man is moving right along at a good clip. Anti Poison on the outside of drive by layover now, just taking that second spot. It's another three. Five Star Phil, Divine Proportion, the back trailing the field. Hair of the Dog's on the inside. Hair of the Dog 
Bulldog now improving just a bit. Moves to fourth, heading into the far turn with four furlongs left to run. Pit stop man, anti-poison, clearly second now and drive by layover. Hair of the dog is fourth on the inside. Back to divine proportion, five star fill. It's pit stop man, still the speed to catch. Anti-poison reeling that one in, getting closer from the outside. Drive by layover now, three to make up. And followed by hair of the dog in fourth, then five star fill, divine proportion. Turning for home and it's anti-poison. Anti-poison off the inside, opening up a two and a half length lead. Drive by layover, still trying and willing. Down toward the inside, anti-poison put to a drive. Length lead, one furlong left to go. As drive by layover tries to make progress once again down to the inside, still trying. Anti-poison drive by layover into third is five star fill, 16th left to go. Louis Garcia keeps anti-poison going. Anti-poison, Louis Garcia with a double. Wins three quarters of a length from drive by layover. Five star fill and hair of the dog. The Maryland Jockey Club's Tanner for a Cause event was held here on October 10th at the legendary Pimlico Race Course. Approximately 300 riders came along with their horses to walk, trot, and canter along the great track as many of past Preakness winners. Best of all, all proceeds went to the Thoroughbred Aftercare Alliance. It's been a great day. It's been exciting. We've had a lot of costumes, a lot of great kids out there. We've had every horse and every size. We've had minis to Shetlands to an Irish bread, so it's been really fun. People have traveled uh, quite a bit of ways to come here for this event. What kind of exposure does this give for the Aftercare Alliance? Well, we've had a lot of thoroughbreds out here today, which is the point of the whole event, is to support the thoroughbreds and to support Aftercare and to show that these horses are versatile, that anyone can ride them. It's really great when a racetrack or a company such as First Racing and Maryland Jockey Club stands up for aftercare and really puts on an event where we can show and showcase the aftercare and the opportunities for horses after racing. Stacey, we are so thankful for you and all the work, hard work that you and your crew have done to put on such a wonderful event. You're welcome. We're happy to be here. And look, it takes a village. There's 81 accredited organizations across the country. This is supporting, so it's awesome. And First Lady Dida, First Lady Dida's in, Miss Allett, and they're off. Mid-pack blame the Irish and First Lady Dida. There goes I'm in charge now to take the lead. I'm in charge now, blame the Irish. And the inside there's First Lady Dida. And Salagadula broke sharp and now taken back. And Miss Allett now on the far outside, coming with speed to take the lead. Miss Allett to that turn run. Miss Allett leading the way. Miss Allett and I'm in charge now down to the inside, racing one, two. Blame the Irish settles right off the top pair. First Lady Dida's back and forth. Exotic Cat, the favorite, is seven from the front, racing along in fifth. 
fifth. Salagadula, Lank, and Eagle, and trailing is Way Lucky. A dozen lengths will cover them as they race down the back stretch in this firm going. It is Miss Solid in front. The three length lead from I'm in charge now second. Blame the Irish first lady. Dida travels fourth. Exotic Cat is in fifth. Here's Like an Eagle six. Still seven or eight from that pace of Miss Solid and Salagadula. Way lucky trailing the field. Four furlongs left to run. Miss Solid in a two length lead. Miss Solid. I'm in charge now. Blame the Irish. Exotic Cat making a bit of progress along the outside of first lady. Dida battles along there in the fifth position. And then Like an Eagle has six or seven to make up, and Miss All at Speed still sticking. Miss All at by two, three furlongs out from the line. Blame the Irish Exotic Cat with a run on the outside from third. I'm in charge now, dropping back just a little bit. Like an Eagle looming on the far outside. Like an Eagle's on the far outside trying to come with a bid. Into the stretch, Miss All at. Blame the Irish on the outside, set down with a furlong left to go. Miss All at just holding. Blame the Irish First Lady Dida. Like an Eagle on the extreme outside. Blame the Irish trying to get by a stubborn Miss All at. Miss All at. Blame the Irish. Blame the Irish in the photo. Blame the Irish. Got it. Blame the Irish. Won it by a neck. From Miss All at second. Like an Eagle was third. First Lady Dida and Exotic Cat. And they're off. Bonnet was first away with Betcha by golly. And here's me, Cleopatra, and I on the inside coming to take a narrow lead now. Marvelous back in fourth position. And Breveries in the back, eight off that pace. As me, Cleopatra, and I leaves it out right now. Me, Cleopatra, and I with a two-length advantage over Volney, second of length. And Betcha by golly down inside, tugging along from third position is eager to go again. As so they're four lengths back. And Marvelous and trailing the field, Breveries still about 11 to 12 off the speed of me, Cleopatra, and I. Me, Cleopatra, and I leads Volney on the outside and Betcha by golly down of the rail and tight there. As other four lengths back and Marvelous in striking range of the pace and Brevery's now trying to pick up from the back. Into the far turn they roll and it's me, Cleopatra, and I from Volney, the lead three quarters of a length and Betcha by golly. Ridden for a little more from third position. Brevery now six and a half from the front of the top of the lane and Marvelous on the inside trailing the field. Me, Cleopatra, and I coming under pressure to stay. Volney May there on the outside, and Betcha by gollies from in between horses. Brevery deep at the center of the track gets going, and here comes Brevery. Brevery out of the center from last to first and taking the lead from me, Cleopatra, and I. Betcha by golly and Volney, and then Marvelous with a 16th to go. It's Brevery. Brevery coasting now. Brevery by three. Brevery gliding under the line from second. Betcha by golly, then Marvelous and Volney. Minute 24.28.
Lined up. And they're off. Aslani and Chrome Pointed Heart first to fire away from Ephus. And the inside is Royal Engagement, the favorite. Three lengths off of speed. Escape Fun and Tritone Gal is racing in the back. About seven from a speed up ahead. It is Fastlani down to the inside of Chrome Pointed Heart getting away. By two lengths into the far turn run, Fastlani opens up a couple on Chrome Pointed Heart of that chase. The second spot now. Another three or four back. And it's Royal Engagement followed side by Ephus is racing in fourth. Back to Tritone gal and escape fun trailing the field top of the stretch where fast Lonnie leads them in fast Lonnie quarter mile from home in front by almost three lengths fast Lonnie now three in front from second completed heart and now royal engagement tries to pick up for the final furlong royal engagement charging hard third almost second fast Lonnie with a eighth of a mile left to go holding that lead but drifting as is her want it is fast Lonnie in front and royal engagement out of the inside fast Lonnie deep outside and royal engagement down to the line together Royal engagement and close second. Light up. And they're off. No bid, quick away with Combat Queen and Tweet Away Robin away in solid order and it's another three back and Canoodles already five lengths off at speed and Fortis is in the back of the pack. Five eights to run. Noble bid speeding along. Leads it about a length from Combat Queen second and Tweet Away Robin right there to the inside of that runner and Canoodle travels in fourth position. Five to make up heading into the turn and Fortis has to pick it up from last heading around that turn. Noble bid from Combat Queen and Tweet Away Robin ridden along but dropping back and now Canoodle has every chance. Canoodle on the outside about to take third is Tweet Away. Robin's trying to drift just a little bit. Is dropped back to fourth. With two and a half furlongs left to go, Fortis is still in the back of the pack. They turn for home. Noble bid the speed to catch. Combat Queen just to the outside in second. Canoodle is third. Noble bid pouring it on. Noble bid and Karamanis opening up a sudden three lengths. Canoodle down to the inside trying to grab Combat Queen with a furlong left to go. Noble bid in a flashy looking win by six now with a 16th of a mile left to go. Noel bid scorched him today. Second canoodle, third combat queen, and then tweet away Robin. Running time a minute, 10.30.
Dr. Ferber. And they're off. No how I know, sent hard for the early lead, and up on the outside, there goes uh, Krug firing up out of the inside high print. So high print's going to really speed off there with no how I know they're going to solid clip early. Krug's on the chase of an early hot pace, and Silent Service is back and forth. Back to Ghost on a Mission is next in line. On the inside is Dr. Ferber, and Lake Nakuru is in the back of the pack. So a very quick pace for this group. Know how I know. And high print out of the inside. They're on a speed mission up front. Extremely quick. Let's see if they can last. Another 10 lengths back. And it's silent service in third and crew racing in fourth. Then to the inside, we have Dr. Ferber and Lake Nakuru and Ghost on a mission trailing the field. Still that duel continuing into the far turn run. Know how I know in high print. And so there's six or seven lengths back. And Krug just to the inside trying to pick up third from silent service. Services next now with four furlongs left to go. Dr. Ferber is still double digits from the front and same for Lake Nakuru and Ghost on a Mission trailing a field. Know How I Know has won the battle for the lead and opens up three lengths now on high print. But here come the closers. Dr. Ferber. Dr. Ferber is now closing third, second. And here comes Lake Nakuru on the far outside. Now moving fourth. Top of the lane now. Know How I Know. Taxed and spent on the lead. It's Dr. Ferber on the outside coming to the front. Dr. Ferber kicks in, opens up now three lengths on Know How I Know in second. Krug is racing in third. Leighton Crow is flattened out in fourth as they pass the furlong marker. Dr. Ferber and Jan Avilas, they're opening up and bounding away with each and every stride now. It is Dr. Ferber kept a task and rolling home as Know How I Know does well enough to hang on to second. And third was Krug, and followed by Ghost on a Mission and Lake Nakuru.